I've been doing a lot of thinking, especially right after the Way 4 reveal. In said reveal, we saw Birdo, which is still crazy to think about, meaning that, well, there are more characters that can join the roster in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This video was going to be a typical prediction video going through each character that hasn't been brought back yet outside of Mario Kart Tour, we're not talking about that abomination. However, in this video, I want to talk about one specific character that would change the game even more. In my last video, I talked about how Wave 4 has already changed the playing field entirely by bringing in Birdo, but I guarantee, you see this one character that we're talking about in this video? If this one happens, it will be so left, and I will be jumping up and down. Nintendo has already done an amazing job with this booster course pass, going against expectations, for the most part. However, I feel like if they pick this character at some stage in the booster course pass and potentially give this character their own track, oh, it'll be over. I'm obviously talking about Funky Kong. Yes, Funky Kong is... No, I'm joking. We're not talking about Monk in this video. I'm talking about Rob. We're talking about a character that has already blown minds from the first game that he was in. Now granted, I was very, very young when Mario Kart DS released. However, at the time, and even looking back now, it is so strange seeing this character driving around in Mario Kart. I mean, minus the fact that they're in Smash Bros, just the fact that it's an NES accessory. Rob was actually added to Mario Kart DS before he got added to Smash Bros. So this was even more strange back in the day. Don't worry, I'm not one of those people who thinks that it should be Nintendo Kart. I'm not suggesting that everyone is here should apply to Mario Kart as well. I completely disagree with that. However, I think that Rob being part of the booster course pass would be amazing. As mentioned before, absolutely no one would see it coming, me included. Also, there will be no one else in the game like him in terms of design. Obviously, being that Rob is a robot, the way that he drives his car is very strange. <laughs> so imagine translating that into 8 Deluxe in HD. I would actually pay to see that. Although Rob isn't in Mario Kart Tour, at least at the moment, the amount of Mario Kart DS love that we've seen in this booster course pass so far has been pretty big and pretty great to see. So there is still a glimmer of hope that they'll acknowledge Rob and the fact that he used to be in Mario Kart, or at least in one of the Mario Kart games. Rob being revealed as a character for Wave 5, for example, that would start to create a pattern within the new characters that we're getting because that would be the second character in a row that's quite strange in the Mario universe. Obviously the first one being Birdo in Wave 4. So if we get Rob in Wave 5, that would be the second character that's pretty strange and unconventional to get as a new character. I know that's a very big stretch but come on man, I, I need to see this guy's face again. Wait, hang on, um... Yeah, that's a bit awkward. Rob doesn't really have a face. It's just a pair of binoculars on a stick. But anyway, now if it's a stretch for Rob to even be included in the booster course pass and the game as a whole, then obviously it's a bit of a stretch to ask for a Rob themed stage or maybe a NES themed stage. That might be the closest thing. However, if you really think about it, that's not super unreasonable. After all, we do have lots of Nintendo themed stages and even in Wave 4, okay yeah Yoshi is a Mario character, that Yoshi's Island stage is a Yoshi themed track. In Wave 1 we've got Ninja Hideaway which after doing some research is actually based on WarioWare. I'm sorry I haven't played WarioWare so I wouldn't have known. And even though Captain Falcon isn't a character, we managed to get two stages out of F-Zero. Two. I mean surely it would make sense to include Rob in a wave where they're introducing an NES themed track because those two things are linked very heavily. I mean after all Rob is an NES accessory right? An NES track that I have in my head includes racing around someone's setup. Maybe we actually go inside of the NES like you know how we have to lift up the lid in order to put the cartridge in? Maybe we have to drive inside of there for some crazy reason. I'm not expecting there to be like Oh, it's Ninja Gaiden, wow, in Mario Kart, like that's that's a bit of a stretch. But I think a Mario Kart track, a brand new Mario Kart track to reference 
one of their most iconic systems ever and then to bring over a super left field character on top of that granted not a lot of people have played Mario Kart DS compared to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe I think that would be one of the craziest Nintendo announcements of this year so in conclusion Rob for Mario Kart I need to see him steer the air in HD